Hello everyone, we're here today to cover the new Polaris Pro R driveline and clutching. I'm Jason. And I'm Andy. And as Jason said, we're gonna talk about everything on this vehicle, driveline related, starting from the front drive, following the prop shafts back through the clutches, to the rear drive and the transmission. What we have here on the table is a Turbo S a half shaft assembly and the Pro R half shaft assembly. If you notice, the construction between these two is very similar. We have the bar in the middle and we have the CVs at the end. However, on the Pro R, we have much bigger components. The bar diameter is much bigger, as well as the CV bell at the end. Another thing you can't see on the table here is the grease internal to the CV assembly. The grease is high temp, which really allows you to get that performance of that Pro R, all that speed, and not have uh, half shaft issues with boots getting torn in the field. The other thing you notice here on Pro R is the unitized hub. This is an industry first automotive style hub. The first thing you notice is it's got five lugs. The typical Razor has four lugs today, but on Pro R, with all the power we have, we need to have more clamp load to keep the wheels on. So this is industry first for us. The other thing you notice on this is the knuckle itself is aluminum. The knuckle being aluminum helps get rid of some of the weight that we added with all these big components here. So all in, we were able to you know, manage the weight in a way that we can get the performance we need out of the vehicle and not be overweight when it comes to the total vehicle. And then moving over to the prop shafts, what I have here is, this is a Razor Pro R prop shaft. As you can see, it's very large. It looks heavy, but don't worry, it is hollow. There are two shafts, the one that connects the front drive to the transmission, and a second that connects the transmission to the rear drive. If we compare that to Turbo S, you can see the size difference. The benefit of the larger hollow prop shaft on the Pro R is that all of the material is utilized on the OD of the part, allowing for much higher torsional rigidity. So we have a new architecture on the Razor Pro R. The transmission and the rear drive are separated now and connected by a rear prop shaft. The unique singular packaging of the rear drive allows for more suspension travel on this vehicle. That's the main benefit of that different architecture. The front drive is also connected by this larger front prop shaft. The torque limiter inside the transmission is basically like a series of clutch packs. That series of clutch packs allows the front drive to be protected from high torque loads, allows us to utilize a smaller, lighter weight front drive while still retaining the overall durability of the driveline system on this vehicle. Moving into the next system of the vehicle, clutching. On the table here, we have a comparison of the Turbo S clutches and also the Polaris Pro R clutch system. Looking at the drive clutch, the first thing you notice is overall size. The size of Pro R is so much bigger, durability wise as well as cooling capacity. This baffle plate helps direct air on the Pro R in order to really cool the clutches down. The second thing you notice on the, the system is the belt size itself. Looking at the center distance between Pro R and current Razor, it's also bigger. 10 and a half versus 12 inch center distance on the Pro R, which really helps when you bend the belt around the clutches from a bending frequency standpoint, it really helps lower the heat and helps really improve your belt life. Uh, moving over to the driven clutch on um, Pro R, it's really much the same thing. Bigger, better, beefier, more flow of air. Now that we've reviewed both the driveline and clutching system of the vehicle, you can see that we really have redesigned all of these systems from the ground up for a whole new level of performance on the Razor Pro R. 